Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to override all other styles by using important. Uh, yay, we just proved that inline styles will override all CSS declarations in your style element. But wait, there's one last way to override CSS. This is the most powerful method of all. But before we do it, let's talk about why you would ever want to override CSS. In many situations, you will use CSS libraries. These may accidentally override your own CSS. So when you absolutely need to be sure that an element has specific CSS, you can use the explanation point important. Let's go all the way back to our pink text class declaration. Remember that our pink text class was overridden by subsequent class declarations, the ID declaration and the inline styles. Let's add the keyword uh, exclamation point important to your pink text elements color declaration to make 100% sure that your H1 element will be, p will be pink. An example of how to do this is color red uh, important. Okay, so what it wants us to do is go in and to the pink text class and then after pink, we're going to go exclamation point important. And this should make the hello world pink, which it has. So that shows us how we can make it so that even the low, lowly uh, class selector, uh, which is illustrated here in the class, can actually take precedent if we write it in here in the CSS class declaration. This should only be used in very uh, specific situations. It's actually something that you're probably not going to see in development because if you end up using this kind of thing, you're not really developing your program correctly in terms of the way that the cascading style sheet works. Um, it's a good way to be able to make sure that you're doing the right thing, but the exclamation point important part is not something that we want to use too, all that often. But knowing that it's there is very useful. So if we were to go through it again, we would know that the class is similar to like a jack. It's as good as a jack. The um, ID is as valuable as a queen, so the ID overcomes class. Uh, the inline style selector is like the king, which overcomes that. And then the important CSS selector is the ace, which dominates everything. So if you add important to this and it has the class selector, that will overcome all others. And so if we run the tests, we'll see that it passes and we're ready to move on to the next lesson. Hope you guys found this useful and we'll see you there.